You could get a better job if your your skin is lighter. Really? Yes. So is that because is, they focus more on your uh, beauty than on your skills, maybe. I have Chris's boyfriend here, Carlos. Carlos, thank you so much. Husband. Husband, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, oh, husband, I'm, I apologize. Mm, mucho cuidado. Ah, muy bueno. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you so much for taking care of my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys make a great couple and- uh, Thank you. Yeah. Black and white like shop like <laughs> Black and white, that's right, that's right. Um, so that's my first question. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. Have you ever seen any racism in the Dominican Republic with you being dark skinned? So we may be called uh, Prieto to Pri someone who is like a black guy. Prieto? Just for like a, a, a racism slur or I don't know if it's like an offense or something to someone, but we call it that way if we want to offend someone. Okay, great. Now I have a question. This is a question a lot of people ask. If you go to a job, but you have a good job, you, you're a school teacher, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that you have a lesser chance or, or a better chance if you're light skinned in the Dominican Republic, like somebody like Dominguez color or, mm -hmm. Jor or Jordan's color to get a, a better job than a dark skinned per person in the Dominican Republic? That's right. So you could get a better job if your, your skin is lighter. Really? Yes. So is that- Because is, they focus more on your uh, beauty than on your skills, maybe. But it's a, it's a lot of beautiful uh, dark-skinned people in the world. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm, you, you're a handsome looking man. I'm not, I'm not gay or homosexual, but you, you have handsome, you look good. And it's a lot of beautiful dark-skinned women in the world. But uh, so that happens in the Dominican Republic if you see uh, some dark-skinned people don't get the better jobs. Uh, yeah, a lot of dark, dark uh, skinned people don't get better jobs because of the beauty, maybe. And most, uh, better down the color, maybe you could get a job with your skin, besides being lighter or darker, so you have to be beautiful anyway. But here, um, for example, in the banks, if your dark is a little light or maybe dark, you could get a job, but you need to be, it's preferable to be lighter. Lighter, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because you have you have beautiful dark skinned people and you have beautiful light skinned people, but uh, why do you think the Dominican Republic prefers light skinned people at the bank or um, at the casinos or at the restaurants and things like that? Why, why do you think that? I think that's maybe to call people's attention. Attention? Yes, because okay. Dominican people prefer to deal with light-skinned people than black guys. It's like that in the United States also. Okay. Yeah, so I think across the world it's like that, but I just wanted to hear it from a Dominican's perspective and a dark-skinned Dominican perspective. I, you know, it's just, I just don't know why, why, why is that? That you, usually happens here. It yeah. happens around the world too. But here, their focus is more on, on, the, on the skin, as I said, and that's, you know, because many people like go to you if your color is a little light than black. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes they think that black guys refers to poverty. Oh, per, per, poverty, like, yeah. like um, that guy is black, maybe he's poor. Poor, or don't have any money, or, or he's homeless, or yeah, poor. Yeah, homeless guy, an outcast, outcast person. Wow, that's crazy, that's crazy. That's why um, you got a lot of good Haitian people, but they're dark skinned, but they, 
they don't get the good jobs. Mm -hmm. They don't get good jobs. Yeah. Here, well, my neighbor's Asian. Yeah. And they're okay, they're fine. Nice they Italian. Yeah. They speak like four or five languages. <laughs> yeah. Guys, you know, humble guys. Very good. They have to do you a favor, they do it. They don't care about being hungry. They don't got days, they don't got blue days. Like, for example, sometimes you woke up a little bit uh, angry. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. You never notice when they're angry or not. They speak in hello and they're, they're happy. <laughs> he's sleeping. He's sleeping. See? <laughs> so, uh, speaking of that, uh, people always call me, my family call me and say, hey, you got to be careful because the, it's going crazy in Haiti and you, you're on the island of Hispaniola and they're gonna come and, and start killing people in the Dominican Republic. What what do you have to say about that? Do you think that would ever happen? No, I don't think that would happen mm -hmm. because there are many good Haitian people around and also bad Haitian people around as well as Dominican people. Right. Bad Dominican people around too. Yes. Yes, because uh, intentions are different. Yeah. If you treat a person a better way, he's gonna treat you the same. But if you treat a person as a harmless guy, that person is gonna feel depressed. Yes. And is gonna feel bad about you and mad about you mad about mad at you too. Right. And that's it. Now in the Dominican Republic, the police just pull you over for for no reason. For no reason. But um, do you think that's okay or do you think that that's a good thing or a bad thing? Illegal. It's for, illegal. Yes. You because think it's illegal? They need a paper to pull you over. They should have a reason. They should have a reason to pull you over. But the reason number one why they make you pull over is they want money. They want money. Yes. Okay. So that's what it's about. That's right? that's for it. Okay. How do you feel about Americans living in the Dominican Republic? That's okay. Do you? That's fine. Yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't see any problem with no, it? No one doesn't see any problems or threats or anything like this. I think it's okay. Uh, we can learn about culture, we can learn about new things from the United States. Mm -hmm. So if you see an, an American guy, Haitian guy, Colombian guy, just maybe you can ask them questions about their culture and you can learn from them. What do they talk about in school? I know you're a school teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you all teach uh, um, about Spanish, African, uh, and in uh, uh, indigenous people? Yeah, ethnically. So we talk about those cultures. Well, maybe, I don't know if they talk about those cultures. I mean, the, the other teachers, but I do. But you So I try to teach my students about all the cultures. Even, even African cultures? Even culture. African cultures. That's awesome, man. Yes. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Tell everybody bye. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Thank you.